Hey guys, welcome back to Stable Genius. Today I have a fun product review for you. Um, if you are doing any Zooming, writing lessons, or online videos of any kind, and you want your audio to sound better than what's on your iPhone or your camera or anything, uh, you're gonna want a wireless microphone system. So I searched high and low on the internet to find something that would work with the lightning connections in my iPhone and my iPad. And I was not finding a lot of options. There are some hokey workarounds that I was like, <laughs> I don't wanna deal with that, that's dumb. Um, I'm a videographer by trade, I know the way things should work, and when I was seeing all these other options, I was like, no way, there's gotta be something better. So I finally found something. It's called the Ceramonic Blink 500 Wireless Bluetooth Microphone System. I know it's a mouthful, I will put a link in the YouTube description. The price point is amazing for the quality. It comes in at 179 to about 220, depending on which set you choose. Uh, the other amazing thing to me is at this price point, there are very few microphones or microphone systems, I should say, that allow the use of two microphones with one receiver. Um, you usually have to bump up into the four to five hundred dollar range to find that. Uh, so that is really great. It has about a hundred foot range. I can back up. I still sound great. If I wasn't using a microphone and I was just relying on the microphone that's built into my iPhone, this is kind of what my audio would sound like. You'd be able to hear the horse banging in the background or the further I got away, the worse it's gonna sound. Not good. So you really have to be within about two to three feet of your iPhone or iPad microphone to really get even decent sound. It comes with the receiver that plugs into your, your phone, your iPad, or your camera. It, again, you have to pick the right kit for that. Um, it comes with the transmitter, AKA your microphone. It has a built-in microphone, so you can use this just by holding it. You can clip it onto something, or you can set it down and it's a microphone. It also comes with a plug-in lavalier with a, actually a really sturdy alligator clip. I'm, I really like this clip. Um, so in my opinion, as a videographer, I, I would always opt for this, but I understand that some people do not like to deal with wires. So this is a great option. The sound is really good. Let me give you a little sample of that. Okay, I'm plugging the lav. And this is what it sounds like with just the built-in microphone on the transmitter. It's still really good. All right, back to business. The main reason I am making this video is to help you uh, avoid the frustrations I initially had with this system. It seems very plug and play. The online videos and the manuals seem very straightforward, but there were a couple quirks. So number one, when you're getting ready to use this, you wanna make sure everything's charged. You wanna make sure your phone or your iPad has a good charge on it because that supplies power to the receiver. Next, you wanna make sure that your transmitter is well charged. It is rechargeable. Next, make sure you have a camera app open on your phone. Uh, you will not see the little blue pairing light on the receiver come on unless you have a camera app open. And that kind of got me a couple times. I was like, why isn't it coming on? Why isn't it coming on? It's driving me nuts. Um, but then I, I figured that out. Next, you want to make sure your phone is unlocked. So a lot of us use the shortcut on our home screen to access our cameras. Um, for whatever reason, that will not allow the device to work. So make sure your phone is unlocked, then go to your camera app, and then you will see the little blue light come on to let you know that it's working. Finally, the pairing can be a little fussy. I, I have two receivers, so sometimes I use the one that goes with my camera, sometimes I use the one that goes with my phone. Um, when I switch back and forth, I have to repair them. 
So when I was doing that, all of a sudden it would not pair with the one that goes with my lightning connection. And I looked high and low on the internet. I looked through all the YouTube, you know, experts <laughs> and I could not find anything. So I finally wrote to the company. They got back to me and they gave me a little trick. When you're doing the pairing, you usually would insert the pin, wait 10 seconds, and you would see the light start flashing rapidly. That lets you know it's ready to pair. Well, mine wouldn't do that. So the trick was, was to double tap the pin really quickly and then the light started flashing. So super easy fix. I wish they would have put that in the manual, but hey, no harm, no foul. I, it was just a little bit of frustration. And um, since then it pairs perfectly every time. You don't have to do any settings inside of the phone or the iPad. It's just once the two pieces are paired, they work great. So I'm super happy. Um, it's been a great system. It's an affordable system. And if you want to give it a try, or if you have a better one to suggest, let me know. I would love to know. Um, if you have other suggestions for fun videos that I can do for you, then please let me know. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching.